This isn't karate, taekwondo, or jujitsu, but it has roots in them all. Phoenix, you do it. Born decades ago in Russia, Sambo is just beginning to take hold in the United States. The reason I picked Sambo is because I was looking for an art that incorporated many elements of different arts, such as Taekwondo, Karate, Jiu Jitsu, and I found that Sambo incorporates all the elements that I'm looking for to be more practical self-defense in regards to me being on the street as a person and also as a court officer in law enforcement. If you're on the street and you throw a guy and you're able to remain standing and you don't want to fight, this is your chance to get away. So one more time. Good, control. If you wanted to handcuff him, show me how you would do it. Remember, big step. Good, nice. Okay, beautiful. 95% of all fights end up on the ground. Sambo is an art that lets you fight off the ground. Sambo became Russia's mode of hand-to-hand -hand combat after the Bolshevik Revolution. Soldiers were trained to fight in street clothes, disarm their attackers, and force them into painful submission. Later, civilians adopted it. Now it's one of the most popular martial arts in Russia, and there are international competitions. Vladimir Putin is a master samboist, and Russian sambo champion Fedor Emelianenko is considered one of the best martial artists on international fighting circuits. But sambo's grip on the United States has remained weak until recently. Hit, boom, right into your grab. The reason that it didn't become popular here was mainly because of Cold War politics. Anything that was Soviet was bad, as far as America was concerned. The real change came in the early 90s when the wall fell and the Soviet Union fell and more immigrants were coming to America from Russia and some of those immigrants were coaches. One of those coaches was Sambo champion David Rudman. Sambo is uh, translate self-defense without weapon. I am not, have not weapon, but my enemy can have it, okay, and I should to win. I personally have a lot of injuries from different uh, tournaments, different practices. Uh, I've been doing it since I was five, five, six. And personally, I love the fact that I have more self-confidence. And it's always fun to do cool tricks and moves and have your friends say, wow, you know, you can do that. <laughs> in Sambo, the ultimate goal is submission. It's basically having the person tap out and say, say, uncle. There's also the perfect throw. In competition, it's an automatic win. Perfect throw is the чистая победа in Russian. It means you can throw him and he go to the back and you send it to the back. I've never had to apply any physical force, so I've been very lucky. I've been in the pens, run prisoners, and I've never ever had a problem. I'd rather me train for it and be ready and not have a problem than to have a problem and not be ready for it. <laughs> 